Hi, my name is Marty Kelly. I'm a physical therapist with Good Shepherd Pen Partners. And recently there have been four studies that have questioned whether an individual with a meniscal tear should have physical therapy or should have surgery. Now, in these studies, they looked at individuals who had degenerative meniscal tears with and without um, osteoarthritis. And they found that if an individual was treated with physical therapy versus those who were treated with surgery and physical therapy, there was really no difference in outcomes. So the recommendation is have the physical therapy first. Now there will always be some patients who are going to require surgery and those are usually individuals who have significant, significant disability, lots of pain, buckling with walking. Um, really you, sh you should talk to your surgeon about that. But if we can predict those people with future research then I, I think that'll be the answer. So I want to talk about the four different physical therapy programs that were used in those studies and find some commonalities between them. Mike Piercy is an advanced uh, clinician, uh, physical therapist at Good Shepherd Pen Partners, and he's going to go over that rehabilitation program to address meniscal tears. This is a stationary bicycle. It's a good way to get some range of motion and get moving before you go into additional exercises. This is the gastroc stretch. It's good to improve gastroc flexibility as well as knee and ankle range of motion. We can flex the knee just a bit to stretch the soleus for additional flexibility. This is the prone quad stretch. It's good to improve quad flexibility and knee range of motion. This is the hamstring stretch. It's good to improve hamstring flexibility and also to improve knee range of motion. This is the long arc quad. It's a good foundational exercise for quad strengthening. This is the standing hamstring curl. It's a good foundational exercise for hamstring strengthening. This is the ball squat exercise. You can utilize this for quad and glute strengthening. It's a good foundational exercise to allow us to build upon for progressions at a later time. This is the single leg balance. We can utilize this for proprioceptive training. To progress this exercise, we can utilize a foam mat to make the exercise more challenging. This is the step up exercise. We utilize this for quad or glute strengthening. There are three different step heights to allow us to make the exercise either easier or harder. This is the leg extension machine. It can be utilized for quad strengthening as a progression from longer quads. You're able to put a little bit more resistance on this machine to allow that to progress the strengthening. The leg flexion machine, you can utilize this for hamstring strengthening as a progression from hamstring curl. With the machine, you are able to progress strengthening by adding additional weight. This is the leg press machine. You're utilizing this for quad and glute strengthening as a progression from ball squats. You're also able to utilize this machine as a single leg squat versus double leg as an additional progression. For more information on physical therapy for meniscal tears or to find the Penn Therapy and Fitness site nearest to you, call 877-969-7342 or visit online at pennpartners.org.